Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits coming at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, we're going to get into the Spence Crawford news. Um, all we get close, they are directly negotiating one-on-one via the phone. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Um, like I said, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right. Um, let's get into... Um, Let's get into today's show. Er Errol Spence and and, and Terrence Crawford are negotiating directly, one-on-one, no managers, no promoters, no networks, and they've allegedly, apparently, possibly agreed on a purse split. So what does that mean? From my take, I'm not not trying to be negative. Um, I don't really think it means a whole lot. I don't really think it means much. Um, Look, you don't have a date. You don't have a venue. You you don't have a network. You don't have a promoter. What do you have? You have two guys who said we're willing to split X amount of money. Okay, even if we're not talking about, you know, a, a pot, we're not talking about a, you know, we're talking about a possible revenue split, right? Let's say it's 60, 40 spends. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just guessing. Let's say it's 60, 40 spent. And that's just what they agreed on. Okay. Who, who's televising the fight? Who's hosting the fight? You don't have any of these things. You don't have a contract. You have a verbal agreement. This is akin to saying, let, let, let's fight outside. Where? I don't know. When? I don't know, but we're going to fight, right? Like, I mean, there's nothing really here. There's nothing that's really been agreed upon except for a, a split of a purse that doesn't exist, right? And, and I understand, okay, we're going to split the pay-per-view revenue. Who's going to put the pay-per-view out? Who's going to promote the fight? Who's going to, you know what I'm saying? It, it really means nothing to me. I, I, I'm glad they're getting together and they're trying to make the fight happen. It's a, it's a little bit more complicated than that. And and, and who, is the fight going to be on Prime? Is it going to... The promoters and the matches aren't involved. So who's putting the fight out? Are, are they just going to stream it themselves? Or are they just going to buy up a pay-per-view spot and put it on pay-per-view themselves? Who's putting this together? Right? I mean, there's there's so much that goes on to putting on a, a, a small boxing card. This would be the biggest fight of the year. I mean, there would be so much that goes into this fight, right? Uh, but, like, who's involved in this? I, I mean, if you're going to put the whole card together, what you, you have to train for a fight. Like, who who is doing this? So, to me, it, it, like, there's just way more questions than answers. I, I don't, like, I'm, like I said, I'm glad. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm just saying, like, to me, like, it, it's just it's ridiculous. Right, like you've agreed on nothing, you have nothing. You've agreed to split a purse that doesn't exist. You know, we've been here before, we've been down the road. Okay, so go back last August at the Virgil Ortiz Michael McKinson fight. Virg, uh, Terrence Crawford tells us to wait till November to tell everyone in, in the media in Dallas, just wait till November. November came and went, and no fight happened, and apparently you had agreed on a purse then, too. And you're supposed to split the net revenue, and PBC didn't want to open up the books. This is according to Crawford. I don't know if that's true or not. I have no idea. But according to Crawford, Crawford alleges that PBC wouldn't open the books and show them the expenditures, which would come out of the profit, which would come out of, you know, Crawford's purse. He, You know, if that's legitimate, if that's true, then that's a legitimate beef. 
I have no idea if it's true or not. I have no way of knowing that. Um, if PBC refused to disclose what they were spending, um, and you know, this came down to plane tickets and things like that. whatever it is. Uh, Crawford said that the PBC wouldn't open the books today. We, you know, he would they, they wouldn't disclose the, the expenditures. So therefore, that would, you know, because they had just agreed on a pay per view split. You know, a, a per split. There, there was no guarantee or anything like that. It was just sixty forty, I believe, at that time. Uh, about sixty five thirty five. Um, but it was something along that in favor of Spence and and Crawford wanted to see the books and he alleges PBC wouldn't wouldn't do that. I, I don't. I have no idea of knowing whether or not that is true. Um, so like I, I feel like we've been here before, and then Crawford got backed out of that fight, and 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 rightfully wrong. I'm not making any judgment on that. He backed out of that fight, and um, took the uh, fight with Avenisian on Black Prime, um, and that bombed. Um, apparently, allegedly, I don't know. He was guaranteed five million dollars. I, I, I don't know. Like I, I don't, I don't know these things. I, I just don't know. Um. But now, you know, we, we fast forward several months later, six months later, and, and we're kind of in the same spot. Here, here's the other issue. They both have other things on their plate, right? We still know that Spence has negotiated a fight at 154 with Thurman. That never came to fruition. Never came to fruition. I don't know if that's going to happen, but now Crawford has to fight Alexis Rocha. Um, and he should beat Rocha. I would, I would pick him to beat Rocha. Uh, but that, you know, look. Both guys are now in their mid thirties. Crawford's thirty five, Spence is thirty three, I believe. Um, neither guy has fought twice in the same year in several years. Uh, since twenty nineteen was the last time Crawford fought twice in a year. He's fought once in twenty twenty, once in twenty one, and once in twenty two. Um, worse than that is, is Spence, who's fought twice in three and a half years, going back to the September fight of 2019, since September of 2019. So that's three and a half years. He, he's fought twice. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. He's fought twice since September of 2019. So now we're supposed to believe that both guys are going to fight twice in a year unless, right, because Crawford has to fight Rocha. He doesn't have a choice. He's going to lose his belt if he doesn't. WBO has already mentioned that. You can't go back now. You know, he's got to fight Rocha. So, what that tells me is that, you know, let's say he fought Rocha hypothetically in May. The earliest I can see this fight happening is November. A year, you know, later. So that, you know, would put Spence out of the ring for either a year and a half, or he would have to take an inter interim fight too. If he's going to take an interim fight, it's going to have to be soon. I mean, I guess he could do it in June. It's a really easy, light touch. I, I don't know if he could take a mandatory for one of his belts to get that out of the way, but that wouldn't be an easy fight. <clears throat> you know, he doesn't have to make a, a mandatory for his WBA, so that would leave the WBC and uh, IBF. I don't know, you know, um, who we can fight in the interim. But it was also something both guys have to fight twice in a year, which they don't do. And to say that they're going to start fighting twice in a year in their mid-30s when they didn't in their prime seems a bit far-fetched. Either guy would fight twice in a year. And, and for, for Crawford, it would be three fights in 12 months, and he only fights once every 12 months. You know, you go back to the Avenue scene fight that was in December. So in a 12-month span, he's going to fight three times. I got a hard time believing that. Hard time believing that. And, and then on the other hand, Spence would either have to fight twice in a year, which he doesn't do. Fights every year and a half. Or he'd have to take the fight on another year and a half layoff. That's a possibility. It just doesn't seem like the smart thing to do. So, guys, I'm not trying to be pessimistic on this. I'm trying to stay optimistic. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm saying there's, a, there's no date. There's no venue. That's not that big of a deal. There's no promoter, and there's no TV network attached to it. So where's the money coming from? Right, like I mean, right now, this the, 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 I don't really see what they have, right? Like, there's a lot what goes into a fight. The two guys agreeing to fight. Now, if both guys want to fight, where well, there's a will, there's a way. But there's obstacles in the way. On top of that, Spence 
needs to continue to make 147. I don't know that he can. Right? If he can, why was he going to fight Thurman at 54? Why would he do that? That that makes zero sense. Right? Because the issue is he's got problems making 47. And he's a big dude. Maybe he can't make the weight anymore. And and it, it, it is what he is. And he may have missed this opportunity to see this at 47 because of all the time they wasted. So, look, is he going to fight Thurman at 54? Is that still on the table? Because Thurman hasn't fought in over a year now either. right? And then go back down to 47? That's a lot to ask. Is he going to take an interfight at 47? And then fight Crawford later in the year at 47? Or is he not going to fight at all and just make 47, you know, in, in the fourth quarter of this year if, if, if he were to fight Crawford? Those are all the questions. Or could Crawford just vacate his belt, vacate the WBO, right? And um, fight Spence next. It wouldn't be for Undisputed. I, I don't know. But those are the options, right? None of them seem like really great, realistic options that seem likely. So I'm not convinced we're getting this. I'm not convinced that we're even close to getting this. I think there's a lot of obstacles, a lot thin in the way. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is already March 8th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.